the client's outcome is more important than the sale. Correct. Right? So, okay. So now, and so I guess the same side idea is that I'm on the same side as my client. We're not exactly. We're, we're, not, we're not sitting opposite on two sides of a table in an arm wrestling match. We're sitting side by side at a table with our with our puzzle pieces out on the table trying to see, hey, is this going to fit? Do we have all the pieces we need? Are we missing a puzzle piece? Because if I know that we can't put this puzzle together, it's my job as the seller to tell you, here's a risk. And in fact, if as the seller, here's the interesting part. One of the things I ask people is I ask people in sales, I say, so I want you to think of the buyer-seller interaction. It starts the initial contact. At the finish line, we're all high-fiving and celebrating, popping champagne. What's the finish line? And most people in sales will say, what's the contract? It's getting the order. I say, great. What would your client say is the finish line? And some people will say, well, it's Hmm. delivery. And I say, well, it's not even delivery. It's results, because if you don't get the results that you're looking for, you're probably not interested in it. So then I ask people, okay, so if you were the customer, which vendor would you rather work with? The vendor who's focused on the sale or the vendor who's asking you questions about what we're going to measure in terms of results? And people uniformly, when I, when I do this kind of exercise with executives, they say, oh, well, I'd focus on the results. And then I'll say to them, So how many of you would be willing to pay more for the vendor who's focused on results versus the vendor who's focused on the sale? And universally, everyone will raise their hand and say, yeah, I'd I'd pay more for that. How much more? The most common answer is between 10 and 20%. And I don't mean the most common answer is 16. I mean, the most common answer is, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 20% is what they say. Mm -hmm. And then I ask the following question, which is, how much less would you have to pay for it to be a good deal but you don't get the results that you need. And the answer is, doesn't matter what I pay, if I don't get the results I need, it's not a good deal. It's like, if you were on a trip with your family and let's say you got five people and you show up at the car rental place and they say, I'm sorry, the minivan you reserved is not available, but you know what I do have for you is I have this this two-seater Corvette and I'll give it to you for the same price. You're like, well, it doesn't matter what the price is. And, And for a split second, you're thinking, maybe I take the vet. Maybe I go cruising, I go cruising around <laughs> and good things can happen. They and can then, Uber, then, they can Uber, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's a split Uber. second decision. You say, well, maybe it isn't going to pan out so well. But but the idea is that if we focus on the results, it makes a big difference. So part of it is how do we train our teams? How do we train our people to ask the right questions so the client sees us focusing on the results and outcomes, not just the sale? 